Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to try and answer a question that I've actually been thinking about for quite some time. Is there a performance difference between the different versions of Proton and Wine? The game I've chosen to do this benchmark with is Cyberpunk. There's a few reasons why I chose Cyberpunk. Number one, I own it on good old games, so I can load it into Heroic Games Launcher. And Heroic Games Launcher, as you can see, supports Wine GE, 34 and 33. Supports Wine Lutris, Wine 7.2.2, and it also supports Proton GE 7.41, 41, and all just different versions. And I know that GE himself has said multiple times that we are only supposed to use Proton GE for Steam games within Steam, but I still thought it would be a good test to see how Proton GE compares to Wine GE. Another cool feature of Heroic is that even if you don't use the built-in Wine installer to install your Wine or Proton versions, it will actually scan all your other game clients and make those versions available for use within Heroic. Second reason why I chose Cyberpunk is because the benchmark is actually one long continuous benchmark. Some games like for instance Red Dead Redemption, um, it's got like little loading screens in between so it might have skewed the results that I'm trying to capture with Mango Hut. So for the testing today I'm using Heroic version 2.5.0. Beta 2 and for Cyberpunk it's 1.6.1. For today's testing I'm doing 9 different versions. I'm doing Lutris Wine 7.2.2, doing Cafe Wine 7.18, I'm doing GE Wine 7.33, GE Wine 7.34, Wine 7.18 Staging, I'm doing Proton Experimental, Proton 7, and of course GE Proton 7.40 and GE Proton 7.41. So all the latest GE Protons, all the latest GE Wines, and also some older Wine versions, and of course the last uh, Wine 7.18 staging. I'll just do a quick brief run through all of them, so you can at least see all the flames per second charts for all of them, because there's so many of them, as soon as I start to put them on top of each other, it's just one big mess. So, Proton 7.41, there is a few dips. 740, also some spikes and a few dips there. Proton 7 is looking a little bit more stable, just a few frame spikes, not that many dips. Proton Experimental, which I know is a big favorite amongst people using Steam, it brings the latest games. There's a few dips there as well. Then Wine 718 staging, there's a few dips in the beginning. And I think this was the, probably the worst performing one in terms of FPS dips. It's GE Wine 734. Quite a lot of frame dips, as you can see there. And then 733 is looking a lot better. And Cafe 718. There's just one major frame dip over there. And I think the one that looks the most stable to me is Lutris Wine 7.2.2. I'll do the same for the frame time. I'll just do a quick run through all of them so we can at least see. So 741 GE Proton. Quite a few frame time spikes. Proton 7.40. And if I compare it to 41, you can see it looks like. 41 is a little bit more frame time spikes. Proton 7. Proton Experimental. So it looks like they all pretty much get a frame time spike in this area over here. Point seven eighteen staging. In the beginning of the benchmark, there was quite a large amount of frame time spikes, up to 30 milliseconds. GE Wine 734. And in correlation with the previous frame per second one, you can see that there's a lot of frame time spikes, so it's, it seems to be very unstable. Or more unstable, if you want to say it like that. And GE Wine 733 also looking a lot better. So, so the funny thing is that GE Proton 741 is worse than GE Proton 740, 
And similarly, GEY in 734 is worse than GEY in 733. So if you've you're always using the latest version. It's not always the best idea unless you specifically require the newer features that the GE Proton Online might be, might give you. In Cafe 718, just one really big frame spike there, roughly at the same place that most of them are getting that frame spike. And then, similar to the previous benchmark, Wine 7. 2.2 seems to be the most stable with the least amount of frame, frame time spikes. Okay, so we'll have a quick look at the minimum, maximum, and average FPS. So for the 1% minimums, it seems that Wine 7.18 staging has got the worst 1% minimum. And as we've previously seen, that DE Wine 7.33. Cafe 7.18 and Wine 7.2.2 has got the best 1% minimums with Wine 7.2.2 having the best out of the bunch. Okay, let's look, uh, take a quick look at the averages. So, G Proton 741, 740, Proton 7 and Proton Experimentals got exactly the same average. And then Wine 1718 staging, GE Wine 733 and 734, and Cafe 718 roughly got the same FPS average. So once again, Wine 7.2.2 has got a higher FPS than the rest. So it seems the best performing one out of the bunch. So if we look at the 97th percentile, so once again, we see that GE Proton 741. 740, Proton 7, and Proton Experimentals performing roughly the same. And then we've got Wine 1718 staging performing really well, similar to 7, Wine 734. And we've got Wine 733 performing a little bit less. And then once again, Cafe is performing the similar as 734 and Wine 1718 staging. And then again, as per all the previous benchmarks, Wine 7.2.2 is performing the best on the 97th percentile. And let's just quickly have a look at all of them, all the stats together, so we give you a clearer picture. And then lastly, let's just look at the comparison table with average percentage performance. So Proton 741, 740, Proton 7, and Proton Experimental, so all the protons seem to perform roughly at the same. Then we've got at 104 percent, we've got 718 staging, GY 734 and 733, CAFE 7.18. But as I said, 33 has got a lot better uh, 1 percent minimum and also CAFE, so 34 and 718 staging is probably not for the smoothest gameplay. And then once again, the clear winner here is 7.2.2 with 105% performance. So, as we can see, there's a 5% difference between Wine 7.2.2 and DE Proton 7.41. So, yeah, it means that basically not always the latest is the best. So, you will have to test these type of things unless you need the specific uh, new features that the newer Proton version brings you. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's any suggestions for future content, please leave it in the comments. Have a good day and take care. Cheers.